as you can see my new wheels haven't come in yet so I got something to do in the meantime I've got a new Mishimoto shift knob it's weighted I got it in silver so let's open it up this thing is very heavy but that hole's pretty big but it's got three different adapters and on the prelude it should be the 10 by 1.5 so let's get mine off should be pretty straightforward and just, this pops down this twists off obviously lefty loosey there you go and then let's find out which adapter it is so I've got three options here I'll start with the smallest nope this is the let's see the next one up yep, that should do it I hope I'm screwing it on the right way mmm feels like it won't go any further down let's get this on I'll just put it on as tight as it can go now okay, I'll do it back this way so the ends got the right orientation towards me and that <laughs> huh. that is not hmm. how am I gonna do this uh, any other parts come in here nope I mean, does that look fine let's see hmm should I be using another boot So what the heck am I supposed to do about this? I mean... <laughs> Here's the original. So the original has these clips here that held this ring up. There's some thread left. I mean, I can't really go down any further. I've tried. Maybe like a washer down here, but I mean, that'd still be... Some like gap there what the heck do I do let me find out how to get the boot off see if it's worth it I decided on a plan of action and it's going to include a hose clamp and a screwdriver so I've got three screws holding the center console on the back here and it's also the same on the other side and one more at the front so let's get to it And now with eight screws and a penny removed from both sides, it should slide right up. Actually, I tried pulling it back up and I found that right here behind this carpeted piece, this is actually where your OBD scanner goes. For those of you that don't know on a 99 Prelude's on the passenger side, there's a piece of carpet that covers that. There's just another screw holding it here. Get your coin jar out. Now we should come right off. So to actually, I guess, put the hose clamp on, I use some pliers to get the adapter off. Just be careful not to jack up the thread on this thing. So I just use the um, pliers down on this side. So the thread should still be fine. There was actually a harness down there. I don't know what it's for. I removed that so I was actually able to get the whole console off. And now what I'm going to do is um try on the shift knob and see exactly where i got to put the hose clamp on so i've got the hose clamp the adapter so i don't want it too tight because then i'm gonna have to use the pliers again that should be 
that. So I need to bring the clamp up a little higher. It'll probably get, I mean, as high as I can get it. Because remember, there's that like chrome ring that also sits under this. So I'll get the knob off and put the whole thing back together. It's all put together now, including the lucky dice. But I mean, it looks a lot better now without the gap. I'll try to get the M in there. Oh, oh, there you go. Beautiful. <laughs> 